when we reveal where she lands. But now, Teresa Goliath has great anxiety regarding her live-in boyfriend's disappearing acts. Disillusioned by his actions, Teresa hopes cheaters can reveal his tricks. He's a, he's a lab tech at hospital. He loves to help people. And that's one thing I love about him is that he's a people's person. Everyone else always needs him. It's like he's going to their, comes to their rescue, but when it comes to me, kind of like I'm the last priority. Um, I'm, I believe it started um, a while back, about um, close to a year, um, when he started saying he was working overtime. Then when I would get the check, the hours didn't match up to the amount that he was getting. Normally, he returns my call right back if he misses it. I don't get an answer. I have to wait for him to come in. Um, we don't even go out anymore. We don't do anything anymore as a couple. We used to talk, we used to plan a family, talking about having a boy and a girl. We don't even talk about our future anymore. That's what I just didn't understand, and that's when it just kind of just clicked in my mind, hey, he's doing something he ain't got no business doing. I mean, mama didn't raise no fool, and it's not the first time I'm going through this, so. I mean, but as far as finding out if he cheated on me, that he's cheating on me, I'm not gonna give him a second chance. Cause after you give them chance after chance, they feel like they can keep messing up. And it's the same thing over and over again. I'm not gonna put myself through that torture. I've been through it too many times. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters Detective Agency may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Investigative charges may apply. Dwayne, age 27, a medical technician alleged to be exploring the anatomy of another female specimen. Investigation day two, stationed outside the medical center where the suspect works, agents on duty soon get a bead on their subject, identified only as Dwayne as he exits. The suspect gets into his car and is followed to an apartment complex, not his own. Using a passcode, detectives have little choice but to follow him through the gate. Their gamble pays off when an unknown woman is spotted exiting an apartment and entering Dwayne's car. The two head to a restaurant for a quick bite to eat. Detectives get a good shot of the suspect, all smiles, cozying close to his companion. A short while later, the couple exit and return to the apartment of the young lady. A brief, appreciative kiss is passed before Dwayne returns home for the evening. Investigation day four. Staking out the parking lot where the suspect parks his ride, investigators watch as Dwayne strides into view and enters his car. He arrives once again at the apartment complex and drives through the gate. His female cohort, whose identity is withheld, exits her apartment and slides in to sit shotgun. Mobile units notice a pattern emerging when the pair arrive at a Mexican restaurant. Ground units using a micro cam hidden in a set of car keys follow and document the duo downing their entrees. Upon returning his companion to her home, Dwayne makes a chivalrous gesture by opening the door for his date. She rewards him with a kiss and a hug before sending him on his way back to an apprehensive Teresa. Investigation Day 6. It appears that every other day is the time to play for Dwayne as mobile cruisers fall in line behind the suspect as he leaves work. Breaking from conformity, Dwayne makes a pit stop at a convenience store. He enters with an unidentified bundle in his arms and it becomes clear to detectives that medical technicians must not be allowed to use the hospital dressing rooms, having changed into a t-shirt and shorts. He continues his trip to his girlfriend's abode, where she awaits his arrival. She leads him around the corner into the pool area. Agents on foot remain unnoticeable while capturing the horseplay the two lovebirds engage in. While Dwayne performs a feat of strength to his water lily, Teresa gets another kind of performance in this recorded phone call. Ain't too late, I'm gonna get some more. Don't touch me. So, is that music you need to be good? Yeah, I think you are. Let me find that piece. I want to hang down over here. 
The amorous acrobatics continue well into the night before the waterlogged pair exit the pool. They wrap themselves in towels and wind their way back to the companion's apartment. Once they disappear inside, detectives close the case and begin to accumulate the evidence for a twice-shy Teresa. Coming up, the confrontation. With the smooth operator's tracks uncovered, Cheaters convenes with Teresa to examine the evidence. Despite her fear, Teresa calms her emotions to view the footage. Thanks for being with us this afternoon. We contacted you today because our detectives have some important information that they thought it was necessary for you to see. Yeah. Are you ready to look at that now? Yeah. We began our investigation outside mm -hmm. of the establishment where Dwayne works. Mm -hmm. On this evening, he leaves work, gets into his car, mm -hmm. but from there goes to an apartment community mm -hmm. with the code. He goes inside, picks up a young lady. Mm -hmm. They travel from there to a restaurant, go inside, mm -hmm. grab something to eat, after they consume a light snack, mm -hmm. they depart, head back to the apartment, but not before making a quick stop at a drugstore. As they arrive, he drops her off. We see a nuzzle or a kiss. It was very brief. And from there, he returns on home. Our investigation continued. Mm -hmm. Dwayne departs from work stops at a local convenience store and I know it was difficult to see but he comes out with a change of clothes mm -hmm. jumps in the car <laughs> goes back to the same site where we've seen his previous escapades but now we see more oh yeah <laughs> lovey dovey kiss kiss mm, chilling off huh shows off his acrobatic skills <laughs> and after a refreshing session in the pool mm -hmm. they retire to her apartment for a period of time before he exits and returns home mm -hmm. he's a liar all right can you be honest i remember when i asked him from junk what do you want from me you try to be honest, the other person ain't trying at all. Our operatives were able to confirm that after work, he went to the same apartment community of this young lady. Oh, yeah. Let me call them now and see if I can get an update on any activity that's taking place. Hey, we just finished up, and we are heading in your direction right now. Are they still at the apartment? They left. They're back at the pool. Oh, yeah? Okay. All right. We are, we're rolling right now, and we're not far at all. All right. Everything can be handled like young ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. That's true. There's the entrance right there. Is it open? What you mean? Man, I'm up? over here with somebody, no, man. No, Watch no. out, man. Get your hands off me. Oh, no, Choke man. Your hind ass. I saw the video, man, what bro. What you talking about? You seen what video? You hey, ain't seen say none. Bro, say, bro. You tripping, man. Stay up. Get you get over here with some bullshit, man. You got all these out here, man. Girl, whatever. Boy, whatever. Get on. 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 Get on.
now. Where's the bitch know, at? Man. Where's the bitch at? Well, bitch, man, man, I'm lying at. My own girl. We've had detectives <laughs> follow you. Man, so ain't nobody know. follow me nothing, bro. What you talking no. about? I could show you the video. Do you man. want to? You a damn fool. You on camera. It ain't man. nothing to explain. Y'all lying. Oh, I'm lying. Look, this when have I ever lied man, to you? This when have I ever lied to you? You yeah. home video taking the bitch to lie you on that? Yes, man. you are. You yes, you are. Know, you done came back up on me. You, you know this some old. Stop. 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 Man, you stop. need to chill out, man. No. For real. Man, stop playing. You trying to nigga show out in front of all these white folks, man. Get your hands off me. No, no, man. Go get in your face. No, man. What the hell? Oh, you must be the bitch. My bitch. I know y'all was together. Yeah, I need to bro. Coming up next, the conclusion. All the way through that. Back to barbecue. Who you know over here? Oh, you must be the bitch. Uh, huh? yeah, I need you to bro. Yeah. Yeah. How? Oh, you, you a little, hold on, yeah. say little mommy. You don't know me like that. That's what you gonna do. What you gonna do? 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 This oh, no, you our detectives Bitch following you. Done with her going her. I ain't never hold right here. Are we still alive? Are we still alive? I know. I pull a hoe, dude. You know I'm a pimp. Stay up, bro. Play no games. You know what it is. You know what it is. You know what it is. Let me correct you. If you were a pimp, then she would know. And she would know about each other. What you mean? They know about me. I don't want that in there. I don't want that in there, man. Yeah, that ain't real. Hold on. Let me back over here. I'm going to see him. Hey, I'm going to see him packing with... I'm going to see him packing. No, I'm going to see him packing. No, I'm going to see him packing. No, move. I'm talking to the bitch. Let me talk to the bitch. I'm going to see him packing. And he's going to break it. Right over here to you, you can take care of his broke ass. That's what you can do, bitch. Y'all can stop following me now. Y'all go back over there with the action. Man, don't follow me, bro. Y'all need to go on back that way, man. Y'all done come up real me, man. Y'all came with that bitch, man. You need to put your shoes back on, boo. Nah, don't, don't tell me. You need to put them holes back on for a minute. Okay, ladies, hang on. And if I don't, what you gonna do? What? You might get Theresa, pushed in the Theresa. Oh, I'm gonna get pushed in the Theresa. You might. I'm gonna Theresa. get pushed in the pool. You might. Settle down. You might. Do it. How did you meet him? I met him in the store. It don't even matter. Okay. It don't even matter, because I it need to come at you five ways. But you call me a hoe? I didn't call no, you. Yeah, you did. Over there. Good, yeah, you did. Though. She yeah, you This bitch confused. Yeah. Absolutely, you confused. Whatever. OK. Y'all can watch me. I ain't tripping. Y'all need to go on and go get that girl, man. She going to start some All right. She want to be childish. Childish? Childish. Well, you don't need to be. Whoa. <laughs> and the pool. Don't laugh. I'm childish. I'm childish. Don't laugh at all. I'm childish. You must want me to push you in that pool. <laughs> Okay, no, bitch. You saw all right, bitch. Yeah. Did I f up your cheap okay. ass firm, bitch? What's up? Child. Okay, bitch. All right, bitch. Here you go. Here you uh, go. Yeah. Here you go. Go get your go get your trash. I'm gonna get my. Yeah. You can have him. Yeah. That's I think it's what you better do. Yeah. Y'all need y'all need to go on with that bullshit. Mm. I'm not dumb. You. You I'm not done with you. Bitch. Hold on. You will. I ain't trying to hear that whole ass thing with you. Yeah. All these white folks gonna be gone. Boy, whatever. No, thank you. Did me. What you doing? What you doing? What you mean? What I'm doing? Where you going? You tripping, bro? You Give tripping me the keys. on some more? Oh, man, hell, Give, nah. me the key. Give me the key. Give me. Just give me the key. I don't need you touching me. I don't need you touching me. Give me the key. Who you ride with? Give me the key. I'm not riding with you, but I'm You ain't getting me. I'm gonna ride I'm a ride in the car that I have with me. Yeah, what the You ride with them while you ride with me. I'm not riding with you though. Oh, they leave. You about to jump in there. They burn it. Whatever. You see him? Give me the key. What the hell? Is that fucking behind the car? What the dog? Like, I ain't about to go home, about to go. I ain't got time for this. Can you go get in the van? Yeah, so we yeah give me my key. Let's go to the give house and we're gonna, we gonna solve this house. We're gonna solve this house. Whoever, my house. It don't matter. 
My house, it, it does matter. matter. Cause what if I don't it want don't you matter. in my house? What you if are, I don't want you in my house? You already know where I'm gonna sleep at tonight, so. Yeah, it's your mom, your yeah, bitch yeah, house. We yeah, already done discovered that. Now house. what I need is my key, bitch. What I need. Yeah, come on, man. Mm -mm. Chill out, man. Get your hands yeah. off me. Do you admit that you were doing something that you weren't supposed to? What I do? I'm done. Man. I'm done. It don't matter. How many? What I do? Are you in a relationship with, with the rest of the people? It don't even matter. Right. Have you been acting speech. like it? He gonna well, live off of her. That's what he gonna do. He gonna live off of her. After work, on Mondays and Wednesdays, you come here. You pick up this young lady. You take her out for lunch. That's my you take her girl. out for dinner. Yeah, I already know. I, know. I will pin before I met her. So don't, don't, I know I'm don't, no, don't, don't do that. 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 Y'all gonna dip sick. That's alright though, cause guess what? Y'all gonna dip sick. Hey, the car is stolen. I'm gonna let you. The car is stolen. I'm gonna let you. The car is stolen. You know what? Car stolen. You know what? You know what? When that hoe break down again, don't call me. Huh? What is? This cheater. And that's an item. That's what that is. You'll be calling tonight, cause I'm sure the bitch ain't as good as mine. You got that dry. That's what you with. Hmm. Coming up cracked, Lavelle calls on cheaters to help shore up the leak. You know, when I asked her to marry me, man, you know, I thought she would be the girl of my dreams, man, and, and we'd be together forever. I, you know, <laughs> around six months ago, man, I really noticed a change in her demeanor, uh, her distanceness. The way, I mean, even the way she's, she was acting, uh, she hardly answers her phone anymore. Uh, I mean, just all those, all those, all those views, man, that something is wrong. There's, something is wrong, and I know it because she's not the girl that she, she's not the girl that I met. We used to sleep together, man. Now we sleep distant. We sleep away from each other in the bed. We don't, we don't cuddle anymore. We don't. I mean, hell, we hardly even have, you know, sexual relations anymore. I would go to the end of earth for this woman, man. I love her like I've never loved another woman before. We was always taught to forgive. But it just depends, man, it, because if, she, if she's not the girl for me, if, 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 if I do discover that she's cheating, I don't know, man. I, don't, I just don't think that's something that I can forget. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters Detective Agency may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Investigative charges may apply. Suspect's identity withheld. Age 32. A homemaker suspected of playing house with another man while her boyfriend is out of town. Investigation day three. Cheaters investigators staking out the home Lavelle shares with his live-in girlfriend note both Lavelle and his girlfriend, whose identity is withheld, stepping out of the house with luggage. Lavelle drags his bags to his girlfriend's car and she drives him to the airport. Several hours later, Cheater's detectives spot an unknown vehicle pull into the driveway. An unknown male gets out and approaches the house. He's greeted at the door by the suspect and let in. A few more hours pass before the suspect and her companion step outside to converse by his car. Shortly, the suspect says goodbye and returns inside her house while her unknown house caller leaves. Investigation day four. Cheaters ops remain in formation outside the suspect's home. With Lavelle still out of town, the suspect decides to have a night out with her new beau. Inside the burger joint, 
The suspect and her companion, now identified as Nick McBride, Lavelle's brother, wait in line for their succulent entrees. The two take their meals to go, heading straight to the parking lot to have an impromptu picnic on the trunk of his car. Activities start to get a little heated, but they decide to finish their meals before getting back into the car and driving home. She lets her lover inside, where they remain for the better part of an hour. The disingenuous brother emerges from Lavelle's house, accompanied by the suspect, and they share a kiss before he leaves. Investigation Day 5. Stationed outside Lavelle and his girl's home, a team of field operatives spot Nick pulling into the familial driveway. Little brother McBride rings the doorbell before being let inside. A short time later, both companion and suspect, sharply dressed, exit the house and enter the adulterous suspect's car. Mobile units track the couple to a local club, the Swallow Lounge. Inside, the suspect sits on her new man's lap, giving him an impromptu dance. Her companion, not to be outdone, reciprocates by showing off his pole dancing skills. Lavelle's girlfriend, in a display of one-upsmanship, leans in close and shakes what Mama gave her. The suspect dials discourse of duplicity and deceit in this recorded phone call with Lavelle. Hello? Hey, babe. Hey. How are you? I'm good. I've been trying to call you. Why haven't you been answering your phone? Uh, the internet's been down. Your brother Nick came over here. He was helping me out. Uh, okay. So, I'm gonna try to be home probably, um, next week, the middle of next week, um, something of that nature, somewhere around that time. Okay. But, uh, I love you, I miss you, and, uh, I'm ready to come home. Okay, me too, I love you. I love you too. All right, bye. Bye. After a few hours of converting in the club, the tireless twosome eventually make their way back home. With confirmation of the suspect's transgressions, Cheaters preps a package for Lavelle's perusal. Coming up, the confrontation. Armed with the evidence of the suspect's family planning, Cheaters contacts Lavelle to reveal the truth. Unyielding in his resolve, Lavelle steals himself for the horrible reality. How you doing, Lavelle? I'm good. Well, our investigation team went out and we conducted surveillance and came up with some pretty interesting things. Are you ready to see that? Let, let's do it, man. Let's do it. I'm, I'm ready. All right. On this day of investigation, we're outside of your house. She comes out, exits, gets into that unknown vehicle. Man, that looks like my brother's car. They drive off together. Our detectives follow them to a burger establishment. They get out of the car, and that's when we catch oh them together. Oh, my God, dude, that's my brother, man. That's your brother? That's my brother. Your blood brother? My biological brother. Uh, we got him on the back of his car, eating food, conversing. Oh, no. Uh, hell just to the no. Kissed her. That's my brother, man. After they finish eating, they get back into his vehicle, arrive back at your house, go inside, and I would say about an hour later, they come out of the house, she gives him a kiss goodbye, and he gets in his car and leaves. On this day, we have him pulling up once again to your house. Looks like he rings the doorbell, gets the door open, goes inside. A short time later, they both come out together. You good, man? They arrive at a bar. You recognize this bar at all? You guys go to? Man, the Swallow, man, we go there all the time, man. It looks like she's right there, sitting on his lap. Dirty. Bitch, man. Man, it looks like your brother tries to dance on the pole. And then it looks like she gets up there. Oh, starts doing oh, the same man. thing. And a few moments later, they're seen leaving the bar together. They get into, is that her car? That is her car. All right. The car I bought her. You bought her that car. She's driving around your brother in it. They both go back into the house. A few hours later, he exits, turns around, 
They embrace each other, and he goes back home. I guess that explains why she never has any energy, huh? <laughs> so, man, that's your brother? That is my biological brother. And he knows about this whole entire situation? He knows that that's your lady, right? He knows this is my fiance, man. Your fiance? My fiance. So you, uh, you actually are engaged to we this are, woman? We are engaged, man. I bought her a ring. And I know it takes two. That bitch is wrong, too. But my brother, man? My brother, are you serious, man? It really? Is it real, man? I mean, God. No, no, this is, this is definitely, I mean, this is real. All right, well, I'm going to call our detective right now and get a location on them. <laughs> oh, my God, man. This cannot be happening to me, man. Hey, man, what's going on? All right, copy that. Thank you. Bye. Where are they at? So they just left the house. Our detectives are following them, and he's going to call us back as soon as he gets an update on exactly where they're going. There's our detective right there. Yep. Okay. And, okay, great. All right, bye. All right, so our detectives got eyes on them. They just arrived at that same place that was in our surveillance, the <laughs> Swallow Lounge. Wow. The two of them are together. We got eyes inside and out. Are you ready to go bust them? I'm ready. All right, man. <sighs> You've got to walk down the back of this bar here. Okay. Watch your footing, watch your step, and then we got to walk upstairs. All right, cool. Okay. All right. All right. Hey, Lavelle, let's come up here with me, man. What's up, mother? What's going on with you, bitch? What the is going on? What you doing with my bitch, huh? What? Bitch, I got, hey, hey, yeah, hey, no, hey, hey, wait, no, wait a minute, no, wait a minute, no, mother, oh, what the oh, f is going oh, on oh, with you, man? Oh, what the f is going oh, on with oh, you, man? Oh, what the f is going on, man? Oh, what oh, what oh, the f are you doing, bitch? Get the f Coming up next, the conclusion. That's my brother, man. What the f is going on? What the f are you doing, bitch? Cheaters. He hired me because he thought you were cheating on him, so he conducted surveillance outside this is your house. Brother, I'm not cheating on him. This is his brother. I got your hey, business. Oh, your brother. Left, bitch. That's not even me. That's not you. That's not even me. This isn't you. You're in front of his no. house. That's not you. No. Then who is that? Let's go. Why? No, bitch. That's Why? not even you. You're doing my brother, bitch. That's not even true. This, this is hanging out. out. That's hanging out, bitch. That's hanging out. Why to do something bad to you, man? You mother. I'm gonna right deal with your fat ass, mother. Fat ass, bitch.
of the story, man, before, before you guys yeah. get out of it again? Come on, you guys yeah. are brothers, dude. What's going on? No, man. What happened? It ain't like that, man. He always gone Which, on his little business trip. Hey, you guys are blood brothers, though, dude. Dude, it ain't like a all uh, day. We just all have a good time. You're just friends? Yes, this is going to be my brother-in-law. Well, Stop! Come you would come out to a bar with him and like because we're hanging out we're just friends how could you say you're just friends what the f are you doing what are you trying to do this is my fiance i'm trying to help your fiance no, find out not. the truth you're trying to start I'm not starting anything yes, this is the truth are. yes you are this is not the truth it, what, what's on video know. is not the truth no it's not so you the surveillance that was done outside your house for a couple you weeks you don't even know me i don't know you all no, i know is what i've exactly. seen on the video so what the I'm showing your fiance how you cheated on him with his own blood. Let's go, Nick. Come on, let's go. Let's go. There's proof right there. Get that out of our face. Five years of my life, bitch. Five years of my mother's life. Uh, Next stop. It's all right here. Please get him. Talk. You get my ring, bitch. Let's talk. Let's talk, Lil. With my brother, what? bitch. What? That's nothing. That's With nothing. That's brother, nothing. Bitch. This is nothing to you. With my brother? That's nothing. Yeah. This is nothing. That is nothing. You dancing on, with my ring, bitch. on her brother. That's nothing? That's bitch, nothing. Well, you ain't came off yet. That's nothing. Fifteen thousand dollars, bitch. Get my my life, huh? Hey, ultimately, right now, hey, oh, well, you guys have a choice. Up, oh, no, relax, 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 relax. Who the f are you anyway? I'm Clark Gable with cheaters. Get, get the f away from us. You need to relax. You're in the f you. you cheated on your husband. Well, let's go talk. You, leave me the f alone. Please. I gave you everything you ever wanted, bitch. Let's go talk. Everything. Get the f I gave you everything Nick, you ever stop. wanted. All right. Stop him, please. Being a man to open with. I didn't do anything. got probably a million different things going through your head right now, but just keep one thing in mind that that is still your brother and it always will be. Yeah, it, it always be my brother, but right now I'm saying him mm -hmm. right now. And uh, like I said, man, it's gonna be a healing process. It's hard for me to forgive. This hurts, man. This is, <clears throat> I, I, this is the only time I've ever been engaged to a woman. He takes that, that up from me, man. Uh, and you know what? It's not just my brother. It takes two, but he knows better. You know what I mean? It'll always be bros before hoes, man. But he knew better. He knew better.
You have slain an enemy.